Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to edit using iMovie. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys basically a beginner's guide on the basic editing that you can do on iMovie and just everything you need to know to basically get started on creating content on iMovie. I'm going to be clicking on the app right here on my home screen. And here you can see this is what it looks like when you open it up. So here you can see a bunch of things on the screen at the top you'll see three tabs so first off there's video so that's basically all the videos that you have on your phone things like that then you have projects which is all your projects that you're currently working on and theater is basically where you can save some of your projects that you've finished so here at the bottom left corner you'll see this image so basically this is like importing things from iCloud or things like that projects and things and here is just a help button to basically show you what you can do and it's basically just a help guide so here are trailers and things like that now let's click on create project now you can either make a movie or a trailer but i'm going to be showing us how to create a video like a movie so let's click on movie and then you can start creating so immediately it takes you to your media and here you can import all the videos that you want to select so let me just import some clips for you guys so you can choose between videos and photos whichever one or both so for example here are some clips that i have so say i want to import this clip right here what i can do is i can select that by clicking on there or i can just select that and select that so both are selected here you can see at the bottom it says two items so that's how much items i've selected and how long my video is so far with all of these clips imported so i can do that and i can also trim it here so i can just select i want this part in here and yeah that's basically what i can do to edit but i'm just going to go with the one clip for now so once i've selected my clip i'll go and click on create movie down there and it'll import my clip i l really love the layout of imovie just because it's really simple and minimalistic so yeah it only has the basics now obviously if you're looking for more advanced editor imovie i don't think is the best one to go because it can only do basics and it's not that advanced but for beginners this is a really great editing program to try out it's definitely one of my favorites okay as for importing audio and video let me just show you guys some more things that you can do just for importing so what you can do is you can click on the plus button again then you can see you have a bunch of things you can import you can import videos or photos again you can import audio or you can just take a photo you can import a voiceover or you can import something from icloud drive so first off let me just show you guys if you want to import another photo or video so let's go to videos so say I want to import this iPhone screen recording onto my video. What I can do is I can select it by clicking on the plus button. I'm just going to import that into my project. I can click on the play button just to play it. I can also just select the length of my video so I can just put in a small bit of the video. Then when I click on the three dots, it gives me more options. So I can either just import it as an audio. So I just import the audio of that one clip i can or i can replace it over the clip i already have in my project or i can just put a video in a video or i can do a split screen i'm gonna click on the video on video just to show you guys basically what i can do with that so here you can see i have my screen here and as you can see it's cropped but what i can do is i can go ahead and click here and i can pinch to resize here as you can see so i can do that or i can click on the magnifying glass and i can basically reset how the video appears so here you can at least see the whole screen so now it looks like this then i can also go ahead again and resize that make it bigger but the bad thing about it is even though it's that small now i can't get it to the edge which i'd really dislike but um yeah you're gonna have to manage with that so yeah that's basically what you can do here i'm just gonna put it like this and now basically i can just edit with that here i can go ahead and select that clip and edit it or i can just select the main clip and edit that as for audio i'm gonna click on the plus button again i can click on the audio tab here then what I can do is I can import some songs from my iTunes library or I can go ahead and use their sounds and their music. So when I go to the music, it's all the pre-uploaded music in iMovie. There are some pretty cool background music in here and I can also use sound effects from iMovie to import into my project. They have quite a few sound effects so that I can also do. And here you can see the songs that I have 
but they act automatically like see which ones you can use for your projects and which ones are like copyright things like that so yeah i can basically do that as well as for camera you can basically just take a photo voiceover i can click on voiceover and then i can click on record then it will count down and then i can start recording my project so here you can just see i'm just talking here and it's basically recording everything i'm saying and i can click on stop then i can go ahead and click choose to cancel that so it'll delete the whole entire voiceover i can retake it so i can redo if i made a mistake i can review it so re-listen it and see if i need to retake it or just accept it and then i can click on accept if i'm finished Okay, so now for basic editing, you can see here in the bottom right corner, there is this little gear icon. I'm gonna click on that and then you can see some things that I can adjust. So I can put over a nice filter over my project if that's something I wanna do. I can choose a theme and this theme plays has like a role in text and everything that you can select and background music and things like that. So I can select that as well. Then I can choose to automatically add the theme music for whichever theme I have. I can say fade in from black and fade in out from white. And then I can also say speed changes pitch. So if I slow it down, it will basically make it sound very hollow. And if I speed it up, it will sound very high. So yeah, I can basically do that as well. I'm going to select the theme to neon. I don't really ever play around with the themes a lot, but sometimes I did use that for intros. Now, let me just show you guys basic editing. Here you can see when I select this clip, let me just delete this top clip for now. If I select this clip, I have the option to do a bunch of things. There are a bunch of tools here at the bottom, like sections, and each section has its own little tools here at the top. So as you can see, the scissor section has four options. You can click on split, detach, duplicate, or delete. So split, I just split the clip. To detach, I basically select the clip and I detach the audio from that clip. So that's just the audio for that clip. Duplicate means I'm just duplicating that so there are two of the same clips and delete is basically just deleting that clip. So that's basically what the scissor section has. So the next section is the speedometer kind of thing. So here you can select the speed so you can speed your video up faster or you can slow it down. And that's again like that pitch sound changes so yeah it will basically if i make it faster my voice will get sound really high then i can also freeze a clip so basically that it just stands still for that one second so here you can see i'm moving and then it just freezes for like a few seconds and then it continues so i can do that if it's something i want to do then i have add and then i have reset so you just reset the entire clip next section is the volume section so here this is just the basic you just adjust the volume of your clip this is really helpful for adding in background music because you don't want the background music the same volume as your music like your sound that you're talking in so yeah i usually just use this for like putting down the background music so it doesn't overwhelm my talking then next up we have text here like i said the theme plays a role because you'll see here there are every theme you have it has its own dedicated text style so this is the neon one and i used this a lot for my videos when i started youtube and i edited on imovie so yeah they have pretty cool text here so you can see it starts with this graphic and then that's basically what it looks like and then you can adjust the text by clicking on your screen and then you can just select whatever you want so i can just say hi there and once i've done that that's basically part of the text let me just choose a lengthier clip for the text so you guys can see the whole kind of style okay so this is a lengthier clip so now let's go back to the theme so yeah basically how you just add the text you click on whichever text you want they have different styles and then here at the bottom you'll see it has opening middle closing it has like sound effects or not sound effects you can add a location or this gear sign selects again the theme of which one you want to choose from so yeah opening that's this big title it's an opening title then again let me just select Let's just say welcome. So then that's basically what it looks like. And then I can also select middle like I showed you guys right now. That's this, this one. And then I can select closing. It's this little one at the side. So that's basically what the open, middle and closing is. Each theme has that. 
And if I add the music, it'll have a sound effect. So let's see here. Zoom in. That's that one sound effect opening. Zoom. It has basically a kind of electronic sound. Zoom. I really like this and this is my favorite because it's just really graphic-y and it was kind of the style that I was looking for. Then here, as you can see, all the other texts, they also have all these options for sound and everything. And you can basically select center or just at the lower bottom. The sad thing that is that I don't really like about iMovie is the fact that you can move around the text. It's basically stuck wherever they put it. So yeah, you can just select your text and you can't really change anything. You can't change the font or the color. But yeah, that's basically what iMovie's fonts are. And that's basically how to add text on iMovie. I think iMovie for me was just really great for basically just splitting and cutting clips. That was the main purpose that I used this for. And then the last section is this filter section. So here again, you have all your filters that you can adjust, like put over your video. So here you can see all the filters that you have on here. So that's basically everything that you need to know about iMovie. Now for text, just so you know, that the length you want your text to be depends on the length of the clip. So if you select this part of the clip, and you split that's how long your text is going to be so you, here you can see at the top it says 2.6 seconds that's how long your text is going to be the length of your text depends on the length of your clip because it basically just adds text over the whole entire clip that you've selected or split so if i were to take this whole entire four minute video and add text over it the, the text would be four minutes let's go back to importing sound if i choose this theme music and I import that. I can't go and select that, split it, delete it, because then it will just go back to the beginning. So if you want just a certain part of your video to have music, what you want to do is you want to split that. Then you want to go ahead to the volume and you want to mute it. So that's basically how you edit the music and the voiceover. So that one part has sound and the other doesn't. And another cool thing is it, you can add the fade option here, you can see. And that basically lets the music fade in so it doesn't just stop at one point. It basically fades in and it fades out. You can also just speed up the music if that's something you want to do. Another cool thing that I like about iMovie is here at the here at the right at the bottom of the video you'll see it has this undo button that's really helpful so i don't really have to go back and redo everything i can just click on undo so that's also something i really like and you can see here if you still need some help at the top right corner it also has this question mark you can click on that and it basically tells you more about what you need to do and how to do different things and now if you're totally fine with your video you can click on done in the top left corner then you can see you have the length of your video the date it was made the name of your movie then here at the bottom you can play back your project you can share your project or you can delete your project so the first tab for playing your video you just click on that and start playing your video so it's basically just a way to look back on your clip and see if everything is fine with editing before you export it then you can export it by clicking on that sharing option and you can click on save video or you can save it to any other platform or you can basically edit, send it straight to YouTube. But I usually just click on save video, the third one here at the bottom. And then I can select whichever resolution I want to export my video in. So once I've selected my exporting size and everything, I can just click on that and it will start to export my video easy as that so that's basically how to edit on iMovie i hope you found this video helpful and basically know the basics for iMovie i really hope this did help you guys if this did please give the video a big thumbs up comment down below asking me any other questions you have about iMovie and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all my other youtube tips and tricks videos such as other editing tutorials and things like that so yeah definitely click on that and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video Thank you guys so much. Be weird and be proud of it. Bye.